Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, we're going to take a stencil, a gel press plate, and a little bit of paint and make some quick holiday cards. I'm going to be using this stencil, and to help make sure the paint only goes where I want it to go, I'm going to mask off part of this. I've got some tape here, and this happens to just be colorful masking tape, but you can use it any kind of tape that you like. If you've got washi tape, that works extremely well for it. Now, as I'm doing it, I'm also not pushing the tape down that hard. It just needs to block any paint from getting through. It does not have to be pushed down or on there super strongly, because after I'm done using this, I am going to pull that tape right off. I'm using a Christmas stencil here from stencilgirlproducts.com. And does that mean that this technique only works for Christmas? Absolutely not. It works for any holiday, any shape that you've got. This technique just needs a stencil with a bit of an open space and your gel press plate. I'm using the five by seven gel press plate here, and I'm gonna position the stencil all the way on the edge just so I don't have to worry about masking something off. Now I'm gonna bring in some dots of paint, some dots, some dabs, some little bits. It's nothing precise here. It's just about putting some of that paint all around. I'm gonna use two colors because I, I like how the look when the colors mix together. I mean. After all, that's one of the great things about gel printing, right? Is how those colors can play together. I'm gonna brayer over it, so I'm just lightly blending the colors. All I'm doing is making sure that I've got paint covering that entire shape so that once I lift off the stencil, I now have a colorful tree. So here's the card I wanna put it on, and I can see through that gel press plate, so I can just position it where I want it, and then press down. And that's all it takes to make a quick holiday card. For this one, I chose to position the tree all the way at the bottom. I think for the next one, I'm gonna try it in the center and see which way I prefer it. For this one, I could do the exact same colors, but I'm feeling a bit colorful, so I'm gonna grab some different colors. I'm gonna play in the blues this time. The paint that I'm using is Amsterdam, and one of the things I really like about these are these extra caps that you can buy for them. That's what I've got on here, those pointy things that allow me to put just a little bit of paint on them. You give them a little twist, and they're closed up like a cap, and then give them another twist to open them back up, and then you can have a lot of control over how much paint you're putting on the plate. Once you've got the paint on there, then you simply brayer it over, Brayer it enough that you've got the paint completely covering in the shape that you're doing. For me, it's the Christmas tree here, but for you, whatever shape that you're doing. Then simply pull up that stencil and put it wherever you want on the card, or really wherever you want to put it, from an art journal page to a collage to anything that you're creating, you can now take that print. For this one, I positioned the tree in the middle of the card. And when I think about the one I did before where the tree was at the bottom of the card, I like the one in the center better. So I'm gonna do a few more like this. Now, what if you wanna do this technique, but you don't have a way to get the paint out of your tube in these small amounts like what I'm doing here? Well, one of the things you can do is put a Q-tip in some paint and apply the paint that way onto the plate. There are a lot of different sizes of gel press plates, and this technique will work on any of them. And if that's the case, you might be wondering why I chose to do it on the five by seven plate. Well, because I wanted to be able to pick it up and put it onto the card so I could see exactly where to place it. Doing this on an eight by 10 or a 12 by 12, that's just a little bit more cumbersome to flip over. So whenever I'm working on a card and I want to be able to pick up that plate and position it like what I'm doing here, that's when I'll go more for the five by seven, the six by six, those kinds of sizes. So which size gel press plate is right for you? It's completely personal preference. If you like working bigger, use the bigger one. If you like working smaller, use the smaller ones. Again, there's no wrong way to do it. The most important thing is that you're having fun making those prints. Now on this one, something's gonna go wrong. You see, because when I put the stencil on there, I didn't make sure it was completely, totally at the edge of the plate. So there's just a little sliver of gel plate at the very right side of the stencil. It's so little, I don't even notice it right now. In fact, I'm not gonna notice it till I take the print. So I'm doing this technique just like I have every time, but I didn't mask off that right side because I knew I'd have it right on the edge of the gel plate. And yeah, usually it worked well. You've seen it work on several cards already, but on this one, we're gonna have a little something happen just because I didn't have the stencil completely all the way over there. 
And I still don't see it until I actually take the print. I didn't see it. Now, these are the kinds of things when they happen to me, I don't get upset by them, even though it is technically a mistake. I tend to think of these things as an oops, an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. And I'm going to have some color where I didn't expect it to be. See that little line next to the tree? Yep, that wasn't planned. Now, I don't really like how that looks there. So what I'm going to do is cover it up with something. My first thought was to put the words Merry Christmas with a rubber stamp over there, and that would cover it right up. If you've got an idea of what I should put to cover up that line, let me know in the comments because I can't find that rubber stamp and I got to figure out something else. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody that would enjoy gel printing, share this video with them so they can join in the fun too. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.